traders so are you vladimir here from home trader club and in this video i want to talk about forex trading strategies well not only forex trading strategies trading strategies in general what is the best trading strategy out there there are millions of them probably more than traders because everyone somehow sure that you know they reinvented the wheel they came up with something that never existed before the reality turns to be usually different uh, and again there are millions of strategies out there so how can you actually know what is the best so here is my quick story and the conclusions i came uh, to after all these years as a trader after all the years of experience all the losses all the profits all the bad moments and all the amazing moments I'm trading over the 15 years now, like anyone else. I had my terrible moments, I had my amazing moments, I had my ups, I had my downs, I had my ups again, etc. etc. I was trying pretty much all the strategies you could imagine, starting from the simple methods of support and resistance, continuing to more advanced stuff like London session or the US session breakouts. And don't get me wrong, these things could work in specific periods or in specific market phases. The problem is that market always change. It's not like a, you know, one way or always the same behavior. Absolutely not. And that's the problem usually with strategies and with traders using this strategy. They are unable to adjust themselves to this place or, 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 or this situation when the market changes, but they still follow specific strategy. Like, for example, if you are a trend rider and the market is chopping, whatever you will try to do, you will lose money. Okay? If you are a um, reversal trader, trend changes or trend corrections, and the market is too trending on all the time frames, then you would simply have bad calls one after another. If you are a day trader, but the market is doing absolutely nothing, it will never be enough for you to profit and so on and so on. That's a very important uh, 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 thing to, you know, to talk about. So what should you do as a trader in such case? Again, I, I, I've been trying, as I said, support resistances, Fibonacci, London session, US session, everything. Then I find myself doing divergences. And at some point of my trading life, I was so in love with just purely indicators. For me, indicators was everything until the market changed again and I had to adjust my trading plan accordingly so as you go through that and you learn all these techniques Elliott waves Gan theory wolf theory wolf, wolf waves uh, and so on and so on you would see so many amazing traders sorry so many amazing strategies on during your journey and uh, um, on all during all this time you would see so many traders presenting something that works for them the problem is always it's not that the, the strategy is bad there are millions of amazing strategies the problem is what do you do when the market phases change for me after trying all these strategies possible as i mentioned before i came up to a very simple conclusion that the best way and the best strategy that will work for you pretty much all the time is the ability to first of all analyze the market conditions on where on what phase you stand at at the moment and then to look to trade in that direction or in with that phase or with that current situation in the market meaning if you are in a trend clean trend there are specific patterns that keep repeating themselves. And I will present that, of course, in this video. If you love to trade uh, trend reversals or trend corrections, there are specific patterns repeating over and over again from specific levels that keep being respected over and over again. And the ability to understand this concept, that what will give you the edge to trade any strategies or any set of rules you of your choice because we are all different okay what could work for trader one would not necessarily work for trader two okay we are all different the logic we understand is different the comfort we feel with set of rules is different our execution level 
of specific set of rules is always different and varies and changes. So the, the way, again, that the set of rules that you feel comfortable with will always have more probability to, 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 to deliver these profit you are looking uh, to, to gain when you do it correctly. And correctly doesn't mean that, oh, now the moving average cross, it's a buy. The moving average cross down, it's a sell. Or the MACD show bullish divergence, it's a buy. Correctly means waiting for the right time at the right moment to join with the right market condition, to join to the right market momentum, sentiment, um, phase. Okay, so that's exactly what I want to present in this video. How can you find these conditions so they will optimize your trading results or at least your trading probabilities? The results will follow afterwards. Okay, uh, so once again, after all these years, the conclusion is simple. Uh, you have to understand in what market phase you are. You have to be able to un read the price properly in the direction properly. And that's what I'll be talking about in this video. Okay, I want to explain all that. Uh, and then get your entries, set of rules for entries, exits, um, and you know, stop loss, take profit, uh, specific orders, right? Properly. When you do that, you increase the probability to end up in a profitable way. After all these years, this concept is what allows me to trade with over 70% success rate or accuracy rate for over, over a decade with risk reward, with a positive risk reward and risk reward ratios that stand and work in my favor. Because 70% accuracy rate would mean absolutely nothing if I risk 200 pips in order to take 2 or 5 or 10. Okay? So as long as you keep a positive and correct risk-reward ratio, you will be able, with, of course, again, with a higher enough or high enough accuracy level, you would be able to generate amazing performance and that's what all this concept i want to talk about in this video so that was a pre-start or the way to introduce uh, you to what we will experience now let's go to the chart and talk about all the concepts so in order to explain how to execute the best strategy and explain my trading rules of this strategy i want first of all to take a few moments and explain the concept the very basic concept of the price movement and how you can read the charts efficiently, correctly, order to be able to really spot these opportunities in the right time. So for that, I will go to blank screen. And here is what I want you to know and to remember. Uptrend or let's start with the definition of uptrend and downturn. Uptrend and downturn, a sequence, highs and lows pointing to the same direction. Uptrend is when you have lows and highs pointing up. Okay, pretty straightforward. Higher lows, higher highs. Downtrend would be when you get a sequence of highs and lows pointing down lower highs lower lows that's the definition of a trend after that usually what happens after there is a trend defined and definition of a long trend medium trend short term is all about how long does that happen the structure is first of all that's where it all begins okay the structure and then after that the market tends at some point to create corrections. Corrections usually happen to be, or most of the times, in two waves correction, which is also called ABC or ABCD, doesn't matter. You can call and can find names, uh, naming it like one, two, three, four, ABCD, alpha, beta, delta, logic is the same, two corrective waves. Uh, in which uh, after that the market goes and breaks and trend continues. That's how it all happens. You would see that I think 
in a multi-time frame synchronization in a moment. In more rare cases or less common cases, the market tends to make some sort of a range in correction. It could be triangles, pennants, uh, flags, or, or horizontal correction before the breakout and the continuation. Okay. And in very rare cases, you would get just one deep pullback to one of the previous lows. So let's say that's the concept, right? That's the lows to one of these two lows. And then the market will bounce right away, breaking above this high and then continuation. Okay. So that's how it works in an uptrend. In a downtrend, it will be the opposite. Once the structure of a trend comes in play, you get two waves correction before the continuation. In some cases range, it could be horizontal or like this, like a flag and continuation. Okay. And these common cases, a pullback to one of the previous highs. Sorry for this line drawing skills. So one of these highs been retested. And then the market makes the strong move down, breaks the previous low, pulls back inside and continues. So that's how the price moves. Now, I said before, you will see how all that connects on the higher time frame. So I'll go, I'll take a black color, then I'll go lower, make it blue color. So take a look. Let's say this is a weekly chart, for example. Of course, it could be four hour, one hour, doesn't matter, but I just want to show you how it's all synchronized. Then on a daily chart, you will be able to see here the trending structure, the correction, either to waves or a range as we discussed before, then another wave, another correction, the same story, two waves or a range and another wave. Okay, another wave means weekly it will be a wave, on a daily it will be a sequence of higher highs, higher lows. And all that would look absolutely the same on the next lower time. So each wave here of the daily chart will present you the same logic. Sequence of highs and lows in the same direction, corrective structure, sequence of highs and lows in the same direction, corrective structure, and so on. Now well, that's the concept the price is moving based on. Okay, that's how the trends and the waves look like inside the trend. Now I want to show you how all that looks like on a bigger scale and what levels you should be paying attention to. So let's again test the start with the weekly chart and then I'll show you the, the lower time. Okay. Let's say that's what the market does. And then the market changes the direction, breaks the trend line, right? Instead of sequence of lower highs, lower lows, it starts to make higher highs. Okay. And then it pulls back and so on like this, right? And then again, changes the direction and so on okay that's how the market does move on any time frame for example the black would represent a weekly chart but then on the lower time frame, you would have the same story here waves then corrective structure waves again corrective structure waves again okay then corrective structure then a rally corrective structure okay and that's when you understand this concept you will know what to look at okay and the two main key events that I want you to pay attention to are key moments. The first very moment is here when the trend changes. So you got a sequence of lower highs, lower lows, and then this sequence is broken. You got the most recent trend line is broken and then the market making higher highs, higher lows. When such thing happens, you need to start to remember that as long as this low will hold, there is a potential of a trend change or at least correction. Broken resistance would become a support and previous support in a downtrend would become a zone of demand, demand where buyers love to buy. They, there is demand for that asset. So that's the first concept where I want you to pay attention to when the trend really managed to flip and make the game. The next one, and I'll do it on the orange, is when the flip happened, but then on the lower time frame, you start to see trending conditions, right? 
this is the higher time frame change the concept and then the lower time frame starts to make higher highs higher lows and as soon as you got this corrective moment that's where you are able to start looking for the buy opportunities and one of the best strategies i, I have is exactly there that's the waves you should verify and then look for continuation and the continuation will up to where the price would go so you always would look on the previously broken supports that become resistance and zone of supply or demand that's where the sellers took control from that would be your targets to write so when you would be looking here to buy put your protection and you will be looking to ride that all the way to the key levels and your job as a trader is to make sure you got the conditions there okay multi time frame waves are synchronized in the same direction and then you got a good risk reward ratio if you do that that's how you control the market by its meaning you don't control a market but that's how you con you are in control in the mar current market phases because you trade from level to level from the, the buyers to the sellers on a higher time frame in a given direction when with the lower time from verified waves in that very phase that's where you got your opportunities will that guarantee that you whatever you do will get you profits you are smart enough to understand the answer for that is of course not and as a trader all you need to focus on is not a guarantee of a profit is to improve or uh, increase the probability to end up your trade as a winner very 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 important okay because when you do that all the rest will happen in your favor even if you have a loss let's say one loss you lost one percent and another one percent but then you have another a, a win with a good risk reward you earn two percent then another a trade when you earn, earn two percent or even 1.5 percent that's only 50 percent accuracy but because you are trading smart now connecting to key levels and the waves on a lower time frame you are earning the edge and this edge is where your odds as a trader are increased dramatically boosted dramatically and will work for you now i want to take that explanation uh to directly to the charts in order to do that i want to present trades that we took in home trader club okay i don't want just to show some random charts i want to trade to show you trades that we actually discussed and i want to explain uh, how it all works so for that i will want to go to members area of home trader club that's what you see on so for that i want to take trades directly from home trader club as i said i'll go to the home trader club members area and this is our trading journal that's where all the trades and all the ideas that we discussed are summarized okay so i want to take several trades from here to explain you exactly this concept you just saw and this is after all the years of experience my favorite way to trade after trying all the strategies out there elliot waves which is amazing don't get me wrong it's just one method uh a support resistances fibonacci's candle patterns divergences you name it you name it i tried pretty much everything uh, uh and everything is good but for different specific phases what you need is the ability to understand these phases what i presented to you in the beginning um, of this video and once you are able to read the direction of the price and what phase and what stage the price movement is you are able to spot the opportunities and that's what i will be showing you so this is the first example of a swiss yen buy 
What we have here stands for exactly what I explained before. We got sequence of highs and lows in the definition of an uptrend. Then we got the corrective structure, which in that case was two waves. A break above this trade gives us the buy signal. Okay, as this is invalidation zone for me, so this is where I put my protection several points below that zone okay so what we want in that case is to make sure okay if that's a buy i have enough room to the target zone. the target zone would be what i determine from higher time frame levels very 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 important okay so take a look this is um for may let me show you how it looks like so this is the place where the setup was spotted, okay? What do we have here on a daily chart is also ongoing trending conditions. The highs and the lows are all lined up to the upside. These are the weekly waves, right? And each of these weekly waves have its own sequence of highs and lows, okay? Here and then here it starts to develop and so on and so on. So at that point, I'm asking myself, okay, the trend is pretty clean. There were no changes on the daily chart. Let's take a look on the weekly chart to try to determine the levels we want. Is there anything that limits us on the way there? The answer is no. It's all clean on the, on the monthly chart as well. So how can we, in that case, decide of the trend? Right? So first of all, there you can simply write as long as the higher time frame will not change the trend, which means as long as the higher time frame would not make the right the change I explained before, when the sequence of highs and lows will be broken. The other way or you, you can of course work a whiz will be plotting Fibonacci expansion because it measures the waves as they progress right so this is the first wave we got here first wave and that will be your target because the waves the way they create the highs and the lows basically create the move from low to high to a specific pullback based on Fibonacci retraces and then moves to Fibonacci expansion up to where does that go? It's an amazing tool to use if higher time frame does not have a specific level for you like you see on that case, okay? So when the opportunity came alive, right? That was the case. Yeah, so, okay, so if I make my buy here and my protection here, can I get a positive risk reward to at least this level? And the answer here, as you can see, if this is my risk, I got at least one to two risk reward, which means, yes, I get the numbers working in my favor. So higher time frames waves are synchronized in that direction. Lower time frames are absolutely in the same direction. Remember what I showed you before. That's my uh, daily waves and that's my four hour chart waves. This is exactly where we got the opportunity, right? Trending structure, corrective structure, breakup. Moving to the next wave, okay? So again, that th these were the waves here, right? Three waves, correction, moving to the next wave. And then after that, it recreated another opportunity. Okay, we, may, we still make the higher highs, higher lows. Remember that we didn't, didn't limit anything, right? And then, as you can see, we did not have any specific two waves and breakup. But remember what I showed you before? Sometimes it does a range. And in that case, it makes a range for us. And with the fifth spot, it breaks and continues again to the next important key levels. As long as the higher time frames are lined up and the lower time frame waves are actually synchronized in that very direction, that's where your uh, opportunities are. So for me, this strategy of three waves and correction, okay, A, B, C, D, or a range in synchronization with higher time frame is 
one of and probably the best when it comes to showing ongoing trend momentum with higher time frame synchronization so can that work only with a higher time frame trend and the answer here is absolutely no because when the trend changes on higher time frame lower time frame will provide you the waves let me show you the next example this example is on pound OZ cell we got this is a uh, middle of july so let me show you how that actually looks like on the chart so this is the place where it started to happen take a look what got me here got my attention here so as I, as I presented before, as long as the waves are synchronized, we are good to go. But in that case, right, this was the, the big waves and the lower waves are here, right? Then what happened is we got the break of this low and not only the most recent rising trend line was broken. So there was this bottom was holding and then the trend changes and the sequence of highs and lows are pointing to the upside. At that point, we got the break, that the lows are not synchronized in the bullish direction anymore, the trend line is broken, and then it comes to retest. And that was the place where I say, aha, that starts to be interesting. Now, what I want is to check if that becomes the trending structure I was presenting before, and if that becomes the corrective structure if it does i might go for a sell and the reason for that is because if that's my first wave i and i expect to see now corrective structure i expect to see two waves down or a range and if that is correct i expect to see the second wave that's exactly what i was looking to trade on this place so with that being said this was exactly what we saw so that was the four hour i showed before and then on the one hour i started to see aha we got sequence of lower highs lower lows two waves correction and a breakout and not just a breakout but now also from the higher highs higher lows we start to see lower highs lower lows so as long as the market remember i presented you support becomes a resistance and previous high of supply becomes your trigger zone and as long as it is on hold that's where you will be able to spot your opportunities okay so this is the daily key level as you can see here and that's the four hour chart key level now i don't know where the market will be pausing or stopping so i always check the initial important level on the way that it provides me good risk reward and if this would be a sell with this stop loss right if this is a sell as we just discussed and that's a stop loss i ask myself okay can i get a good risk reward ratio in my favor the answer is absolutely yes it's already more than one to two for me it is a green light or a check mark to my trading conditions and I can execute myself. Not because it will guarantee I will profit, but because it will give me the edge I need and the increased probability to be right. Let me show you the next example or uh, how I love to do sometimes aggressive and then conservative add-on. On the go so this example is about the euro dollar as you can see here there is just a beginning of a trending structure there was no correction to join so this was the first place for me to make the shot the reason i did that is because at that case at that point right here i got a full synchronization from a four hour which is presented here and the daily which i'll show in a moment Okay, and then I said, okay, this would be my aggressive entry. And as long as the important supportive area on the way would hold, this would be my initial stop loss. If the market creates then a corrective structure, I will just add on. So I can take half of my risk here, half of my risk here, then with smaller stop loss because it would be a two wave setup, and then enjoy huge risk reward in that case. Okay, so here is the daily chart. At that point, the daily 
swing highs and lows are all pointing up. There was no trend change. There was attempt to break this trend line, but the lows holding. And after bouncing, yeah, this still continues with higher highs, higher lows. Doesn't matter how I try to twist it. And from here, the market made, as I showed you before, three higher highs, higher lows. That's what I shown, what you saw in the four-hour chart. So nothing against on a daily chart in terms of trend change in price. Four hour is synchronized again. That's a good shot for aggressive. And then if I get the correction, I get the continuation. Now, here is the trade as a follow up with the members of Home Trader Club right here. So what you saw is the initial shot of the buy here with this stop loss. And as I explained before, if we will get two waves correction or a range and then a breakout, for me, it would be a great add on. So that was the follow up. Get ready. And the market indeed makes that happen. That was the initial shot. Then we got the correction. Remember, my initial stop loss is here and we got this correction, right? It becomes sort of a triangle and the break. Now, why this is so ideal scenario here? Because I already have one trade running with this stop loss, but the risk reward already in my favor. And here I have another buy or add on with this stop loss. And you can calculate how big is the risk reward in that case. How do I determine this level? As I explained you at the beginning of the video, by higher time frame. I check because the, on the daily there was nothing. I check on the four hour. Broken support will become a resistance. If that's the case. Do I have a good risk reward towards this zone? If the answer is yes, that's where I take my trades. And as you can see, it's all the same. Trending structure, correction, in the connection to higher time frame. Make sure you are in the same synchronized way. You got the levels. You got the target that could pay you the great risk reward ratio. And that's the best trading strategy a trader can do in any financial market, in any type of trading. All right. So that would be it for this video. I hope I managed to explain you how do I spot what I believe to be the best trading strategies. It's a combination of price, purely the waves in a multi time frame synchronization between key levels on higher time frame. And as you can, as you saw in the examples, it could work in a multi time frame synchronized trend and it can work when the higher time frames flip the trend, like in the example I showed you in the pound OZ on this video, and the lower time frame confirming the waves. Will that guarantee a profit? Absolutely mm -hmm. not. And do not believe anyone, anyone who promises you, guarantees you profit if you just follow this or that specific pattern. It's an absolute BS. You know what it means. So stick to a very clean, basic logic, because that's where the buyers and sellers are. Buyers make high, sellers make slows. And as long as you are able to put this market phase sentiment, momentum, current, current situation in the market and find your opportunities on that way, that's where you will find your best trades. As simple as that. Got it? So uh, that's uh, it for this video and I hope you find value in it. Uh, and if you do, please don't forget to hit this like button. A few words in the comment section would be very much appreciated. Don't forget uh, that if you have any question, please feel free to ask. And I want to invite you to Home Trader Club where you will get your access to our full trading courses, real-time trading opportunities, real-time education and access to me, my team and the community. Join us with the link below this video in the description. Until then, thank you for your time watching this video. Best to you and yours. I'll see you soon with more. Bye for now and good trading.